Hey all, so let's talk ultimate hunting. First off, massive shout out to the members of the channel. Thank you all so very much, you absolute legends. Now very quickly, we've got an exclusive reveal in this video. So if you want to know what it is, then stick around for that. But let's get started. One of the first things we got was an ultimate hunting gear guide for the Huntberg WT. Let's read through it. Huntberg WT type bolt action rifle calibers. 223, 270, 7mm and 30 6 Customization, sight, scope, muzzle, barrel and caliber. Trivia, today we have something for the fans of simple mechanisms. A cheap, reliable and accurate rifle. A weapon that'll lay down even the biggest game like Thule Elk, Black Bear and more without a problem. If you don't like over-engineered weapons and appreciate the classic style of hunting, this is the weapon for you. Now I honestly love the way this thing looks. It is so simplistic and looking at this image, the details once again, I can never say it enough. The details they use when they make their models seriously gets me excited. Well done Ultimate Hunting. This is another rifle that I'm going to have to take on a test and see how it does. Then they showed us a model of the Kudu Cow and it really does look good. The body proportions, the size of the head and the ears, everything is spot on. But this is where the exclusive reveal comes in. Raf sent me this and oh my word, I am blown away. This thing looks incredible. The detail that they've got, the markings on the face, the stripes on the body, the way that it transitions when it gets onto the shoulder and the neck, the mane, the hair on the back. Oh my word, they have absolutely blown my mind. I cannot wait to get a kudu ball and put that in my lodge. Ref, you honestly have to give your guys props for this. This is incredible. Then we got this, the question number 13 for their Q&A. Will we see additional reserves and species added to the base game in the form of DLCs? If yes, how will the species and reserves be chosen? Let's get straight to the answer. Hi George, yes. We plan to release additional content for the game if the game succeeds. No surprise when we claim that the game needs to earn money and people need to be paid. But it's not as simple as it sounds. Ultimate Hunting will be released in early access and we have set ourselves a goal to firstly fix as many bugs and problems as we can and add the most demanded content and features during the early access. Once we are happy with the results and the game, it will receive a full release. After that, we'll start working on new content with two models of sharing, paid and free of charge DLCs. In terms of choosing the reserves and animals for the new map, we will run multiple surveys during early access and after full release. Most will be about the current game state, latest updates, quality of life and the most demanded missing features. But at some point we will also ask our players about new maps and animals we should pick for such regions. And yes, we have our own ideas for the next reserves and we will certainly release at least one map based on our own concepts. But we will also like to pick some of the content based on community feedback. Regards, Rafael. Now we did know that if the game succeeds we will get DLCs with new maps and regions but I am really glad to hear that they are going to be involving the community again. That is just something you don't get from a lot of gaming companies is where they involve communities. Now some of the places I'd like to see in DLCs I would like a map in Canada, I would like a map in Mongolia, I would like an Indian map and I would really like an Australian map. Not to mention another African map but Personally, I think another African map can wait a bit. Let's get more of the world covered before we come back to Africa and America. I'm not going to speak about what species I want. I'm hoping that you guys will let me know in the comments what reserves and species you are looking forward to the most. But well, folks, that's everything we've got. Thank you so very much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.